All right, uh, in this short video, I'm going to just quickly explain um, site silo architecture. Um, some of you may have not heard about that before or may have, may have heard reference to that, but not really understand what that means. So when you're talking about site silo architecture, we're talking about taking a topical theme like white label SEO and, and then putting all of the content related to white label SEO into a structured silo or a vertical, so to speak, a vertical um, silo of content. But what we're doing here is we're actually organizing the silo more specifically with the main terms within the overall topic. OK, and so this is going to come out of your research. You have to do good keyword research to get these major themes here. And these major themes here are all the top most search terms uh, under the main topic, white label SEO. And so I've got 13 major um, search terms for um, that, that major uh, topic or cluster. And then I'm going to be filling in uh, with content, um, basically um, a, an article or more of content around each of these um, major themes. And so that's basically what, it, you know, what you're looking at in silo architecture. You could have white label SEO. Another silo would be white label websites. Another silo would be white label PPC. And then each silo is going to have sub you know, subcategories with the major themes inside of them. And then uh, what you'll do is you'll you'll link and interlink these um, these articles together into in the silo um, and then the silo articles will also link to your main service page, your main blog category page, uh, maybe your main service page, um, but you're going to just drive relevancy through the silo and up to your main uh, page on your website that you want to rank for the term, whether it be white label SEO or any of these other terms as well. But um, so that's just a quick like primer, a real quick overview on site silo architecture. Uh, really, really important to get your research down so that you can create the silos and then you can begin to fill in content around each silo. You can see I've already got one article of content for each silo or sub silo um, category. And um, and then I'm going to just quickly show you how you can use Google Sites to create a DA97 domain asset. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a unique site for each of these terms in the silo. Um, and then driving uh, authority from the Google site to the main um, silo category page on the website. So um, I've already got the site pretty much built out, but you can come in here and you can use any of their themes. You could do a blank template if you want. Uh, once you have it built out, um, it's pretty easy. I mean, you could just kind of basically I'm, I'm just optimizing this singular page on a Google domain for a singular term in my silos, uh, silo. And um, you can see I've got my whole article here. I've got, uh, you know, I've got a Google image that I searched for in their database. Um, I am also, uh, I got a video in here and I've got a Google map in here and some other links in here. And that's pretty much it. So, you know, there wasn't a lot. It took me about 15 minutes to create this page once I had the content and optimize it a little bit more for the term best white, best white label SEO and then published it. And so what that looks like uh, in reality here, once it's published, is this is what it looks like. Highly relevant to one term, best white label SEO. And if we go to, I think it's website, seogender.com, and we take the URL here, Uh, no, I want domain authority checker. Put that in there. And check, and you're going to see we got a nice DA97 um, authoritative site, and all of my links in here are going to be do follow by default. I've only got a couple in here. Don't want to have overlink it. Uh, you can certainly link it to other authorities, um, but I've got basically a do follow here um, to my um, white label SEO category product page, and I've got a do follow link down here um, in the in the footer and things like that. So you've got a really authoritative asset. It's going to be very much focused on one term. 
and I'm going to continue to create additional Google Sites, one for each term that I have in my silo. So <clears throat> White Label SEO is my silo. These are all of my supporting topical themes in the silo. I'm going to write one article around each, uh, each term, and then I'm going to create a Google Site for each term and then link that Google Site for that particular term to the corresponding article um, on the site that is the parent article inside the subcategory. So I will link best white label SEO to the new article I'm going to be putting on the blog here. It's not up yet. And then as soon as that uh, is done, I'll come actually come in here and edit this link and point it to my best white label SEO blog article um, corresponding to uh, the same silo category. So hopefully that's clear. The Google site will link to this category page right here. And then um, I'll just continue to put more and more content into uh, that subcategory. And the Google site is going to power up that silo category. Hopefully that's clear for everyone. And I hope, uh, hopefully this just quick tutorial helps you understand how you can build silo architecture, high relevancy within your website structure, and then power it up with a really powerful Google site DA97 asset. All right. Take care, guys.